ESO is officially 10 years old, and we are celebrating until April 23rd with some more of that 100% XP boost and lots of cake. To get started, complete the quest for Cake's Sake to earn this year's Jubilee Cake. You can find the chef near the docks in Ardon, Stone Falls, and Glenumbra. Or you can just grab the starter quest for free in the Crown Store and it will bring you right to them. You'll need to collect some ingredients and complete some interactions, all of which you can find right near the quest giver. And upon completing the quest, you'll get your 2024 Anniversary Cake. The XP boost is applied passively to anyone signed in during the event period so you don't need to remember to eat the cake every few hours to get the bonus. But you will still need to use the cake to get three event tickets each day, so don't forget to grab and use it. This year, you can earn gift boxes from some added sources, but as always, any daily quest in the game will get you a box. This includes daily writs, which are the fastest dailies to complete, so there's no better time than now to do them. You can also get boxes by killing and looting the final boss in dungeons, the final boss in trials, the final boss at any incursion event, or world bosses. In Rewards of the Worthy Mail, note that the box will appear inside the parcel reward, not in the mail itself. And you have a chance to get a box in Tales of Tribute Rewards, but note that this chance is increased based on the number of opponents defeated and their difficulty during a tribute daily. The first daily that you complete each day will get you a gold reward box, and all subsequent drops will be purple boxes. There are two new items this year, the Earthbone Alien Armor Style and the Jubilee Steed, both of which only come out of the once daily gold box. It's important to call out that the Steed will require 25 fragments, and these fragments are bound on pickup. There is an achievement tied to completing the mount, but it is impossible to complete it with what the event provides, so be prepared to spend your tickets if you want to complete it. The drops in purple boxes are comparative to last year's boxes, containing a chance at familiar drops to longtime players and guaranteed materials, some of which are profitable. I opened up about 300 boxes to test the drops, and I can tell you that new motifs have seemingly been added to the drop pool as well. In addition to gift boxes, you can also earn new cosmetic replica rewards by doing specific things, but know that these items are bound on pickup. As an extremely small chance from any fishing node during the Jubilee, you may find style pages for the True Flame Sword replica. For those who don't know, this was a very rare drop that you could get by fishing in Stone Falls back in 2014. Any Dolmen reward chest has a chance to contain a style page for the Staff of Worms replica. Any world boss in Vardenfell has a chance to drop a style page for either the Sunara replica or the Barbus helmet replica. And any geyser in Somerset has a chance to drop a style page for the Ulvor staff. For this event, the Impresario has a ton in stock including the return of the Anniversary Cake Furnishings. For each year you've partaken in the Jubilee, you can buy the matching cake to put in your house. There will also be cake slices for sale this year, which you can buy regardless of having played in the same year. There is an achievement tied to obtaining each slice, and they are one ticket apiece, so keep this in mind if you are someone chasing achievements. For those keeping tabs, you will need roughly 25 tickets to complete the achievements, potentially more depending on your playtime. The new Jubilee Steed Fragments, the new Earthbone Style Pages, and the first two fragments for the Master of Schemes Personality Morph for the Molog Ball Pet are also up for sale, in addition to her usually stocked items. She will also carry a Jubilee Grab Bag containing old items that no longer drop but there are a ton of items in the drop pool. You will only get items that you don't already have, which is why it's important to note that the desecrated grave soil used to craft the worm cult style is also in the grab bag, but it will drop in addition to the other items. If you are new to the game and want to get some of these items, check guild traders before picking them up to minimize your potential loot pool. 
the other ticket merchants have also changed up their stock, including the Deadland Scorcher skin fragments at her assistant. And the Indrik vendor has swapped to two different mounts and non-combat pets. And here are some final callouts tied to the anniversary of the game. There is currently a free play event and sales on the game and crown packs. Don't forget to keep an eye on Twitch for drops during the in-person event. If you have Xbox Game Pass, you can claim 500 Endeavors and three 150% scrolls in your membership rewards. And if you're an ESO Plus member, don't forget to claim the latest dungeon expansion for free in the Crown Store. Happy 10th birthday, ESO! Thanks for watching. Enjoy the anniversary celebration.